Soap opera veteran John Riley passed away on Sunday, January 10th, 2021. He was 86 years old. John's daughter, Caitlin Riley, broke the news to the world on Instagram Sunday evening. She didn't elaborate on the cause of death, but considering his age, one can assume it was by natural causes. In her post, the 31-year-old comedian captioned a photo of her dad with this heartfelt message. John Henry Matthew Riley, a.k.a. Jack, the brightest light in the world has gone out. Imagine that best person in the world. Now imagine that person being your dad. She continued by expressing how much gratitude she had for him being in her life and that she didn't know what she was going to do without him. I love you forever, Daddy, her heart-wrenching post concluded. Riley is survived by his wife Liz and his five daughters. He also had two grandchildren and loved being a grandpa. John's daughter Caitlin followed in his footsteps by becoming an actress. She's appeared in a number of short films, including 2015's Die Sitter Die Rupert and 2013's Love and Paint. In addition to acting, she's also a famous social media influencer. Riley may be remembered for being a soap star, but he was much more than that. For the rest of this video, we're going to show you how he rose to fame in the first place and how those he touched throughout his career are honoring his memory. Most people recall him on General Hospital, but as it turns out, his resume was pretty stacked. Stay tuned to find out what else John Riley was known for. How John Riley Became a Soap Star Riley was born in Chicago, Illinois on November 11, 1934. He attended St. Mary's College in Winona, Minnesota, where he received his bachelor's in business. Before he ever got involved with acting, he was quite the successful businessman in the Windy City. He never thought he would be a successful TV star when he first started doing theater. It was just a hobby for him back in those days. He was already in his mid-30s when he landed his first roles on major TV shows. His first credited role was in a western called A Man Called Shenandoah in 1966. Some of his other early credits include small parts in shows like Kojak, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Lou Grant, Hawaii Five-0, and Barnaby Jones. He scored his first recurring role in 1974 as Dr. Dan Stewart on As the World Turns. Things really started picking up for him career-wise in 1978 when he was cast as Jeremiah Taylor on How the West Was Won. He only appeared in four episodes, but it gave him the exposure he needed to give his career a little boost. For the next few years, he had small roles in a handful of shows including Wonder Woman, The Bionic Woman, A Man Called Sloan, and The Incredible Hulk. In 1983, he secured the role of Roy Ralston on Dallas for six episodes. According to Us Weekly, Riley got his big break back in 1984. His life changed when he was cast as Sean Donnelly on the popular American soap opera General Hospital. It was a huge milestone in his career, seeing as the series is the longest-running American soap in production. His character was introduced when Luke Spencer, played by Anthony Geary, needed help while he was a fugitive from justice fleeing murder charges. Sean was certainly a force to be reckoned with. There was an added bit of intrigue and adventure connected to his character as well. Apparently back in the 70s, he was the head of an intelligence organization called the World Security Bureau. Riley played Donnelly for the next 11 years and reprised the role briefly in 2008 on the primetime spinoff series General Hospital Night Shift. He did so once again in 2013 for the 50th anniversary of General Hospital. Riley's career after General Hospital in 1997, two years after leaving General Hospital, Riley landed a recurring role of Bill Taylor on Beverly Hills 90210. Bill was Kelly Taylor's father, a businessman who was often absent from his daughter's life, despite repeatedly promising to spend more time with her. His character effectively exited the show after he was arrested and sent to jail shortly after reconciling with his daughter. That same year, Riley was also cast as Del Douglas on Sunset Beach. He would play that role for the next two years until Sunset Beach's cancellation in 1999. For the next several years, Riley guest starred in shows like Melrose Place, Son of the Beach, Days of Our Lives, and Judging Amy. From 2005 to 2008, he returned to the soaps, playing Alastair Crane on NBC's Passions. He took over the role after David Bailey died in a tragic pool accident in 2004. In 2006, he was written off the show after budget cuts. 
he returned once again to the cast in 2007 and remained with the series for another year before being killed off in 2008. Not counting his 2013 General Hospital reprisal, this was his final acting credit. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And you're going to want to stick around for the rest of the video. In just a minute, we'll show you how John Riley's daughter, Caitlin, is carrying on the torch her father passed to her. First, let's see how some of Riley's former co-stars reacted to the heartbreaking news of his passing. Riley's co-stars remember him fondly. Wherever he went, whatever project he was working on, it didn't matter what he was doing, Riley was always liked. That's clear by looking at the myriad celebs, co-stars, and personal friends of his that have posted messages commemorating the late actor. Fanola Hughes, who portrayed Anna Devane on General Hospital, penned a moving tribute to him on her Instagram. She recalled how she was greeted on the set of General Hospital by a handsome man wearing a leather jacket. Of course, that handsome man was John. She went on to relay how he welcomed her onto the show and told her he would be there for her if she ever needed anything. Boy, was he true to his word, Hughes finished. General Hospital's official Twitter page also tweeted out a message paying tribute to one of their alums. The post expressed how heartbroken the cast, crew, and friends of the show were to hear of Riley's passing. Another one of his former General Hospital co-stars, Christina Wagner, who portrayed Felicia Jones, also took to Twitter to express her condolences following Riley's death. She called him a treasure and sent her love to his family. A handful of other cast and crew members from General Hospital also sent their best wishes through social media. His legacy lives on in Caitlin. Riley also enjoyed a blissful family life. After a whirlwind romance, he married the love of his life, Liz Riley, in 1981. Liz wasn't just his wife, she was also his best friend. In the next several years, the happy couple welcomed three children into the world, all daughters. Caitlin Riley is a comedian, actor, and social media influencer. She's recently become a phenomenon of sorts on TikTok, doing uproarious yet kind of awkward impressions of various characters. Her videos have millions of views. It makes sense she would have inherited her father's talent. And she's actually got a couple of films coming out soon, too. Cafe Americano and Wrong Reasons, two films she has minor parts in, are both premiering in 2021. General Hospital will pay Riley a tribute. A few days ago, Variety reported that General Hospital is planning on celebrating the life of their late castmate by dedicating an episode to him later this spring. Frank Valentin, the show's executive producer, said in an interview that Riley was a huge part of the General Hospital history. As such, he deserves to be honored with an episode. We would like to send our deepest condolences to all the loved ones who John Riley touched throughout his accomplished life. We're looking forward to seeing how his daughter Caitlin continues carrying on his legacy. And we'd love to hear from you. What do you remember John Riley best from, Passions or General Hospital? Share your memories of John in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.